Tracker J here. This week I'm going to talk about one of my favorite luxury items that I take when I'm backpacking in, in the winter weather. So often you get that film that coats the top of your tent, all that moisture that freezes to the top. What I carry is a candle lantern. It burns all night long, burns off all that moisture that you're breathing out, and also just waking up and seeing that flame in your tent is really warming. So I'm going to show you the candle lantern that I use, that I've used for years. All right, now this candle lantern comes in this neoprene sock, which is really great because it keeps it from impact and such when, because it had, does have a glass globe in it, so you don't want to be too tough on it. Um, I know that this is truly a luxury item when it comes to weight, but I love it. It's great for me at night. I feel like having a flame and fire inside the actual tent makes me feel a little bit warmer in my soul. So the way that it works is you pull the hanging rod up like this and you just pull it up. You can see that it actually has a glass globe and they do have replacement ones, so if you did break it, you could have it replaced. But the magic actually happens inside this lantern. So you go ahead and hang this lantern inside your tent from one of the hooks up above and then you pull this out. So now this is the inner workings. The way that it works is you spin it and you pull it off and then now you have this spring and this cap. And what they do is, let me pull this candle out, is that they slowly push the candle up as it's melting. And that way you're able to get about nine to 12 hours of burn time off of a candle, depending on the style of candle that you get. Now I love these beeswax styles, these yellow ones, because they're just really clean and pure. Uh, there's white ones, your basic white candle, and there's also some purple ones that are citronella. Um, I would not burn those in my tent just because of citronella. I'd be going around camp, like around a campfire. It'd be really cool to hang one of these with citronella and, and just kind of fight off the bugs. But the way that it works is you put the candle in, put the metal plate on it this way, and then of course your spring and spin your bottom cap on. And now it's loaded. And the way that it works is you, you, as it's melting, you can start to see through the seam how much is left. So what I do is I go ahead and light the candle. This is already hanging in my tent. And then I just slide it up inside it and then spin it on. What I like a lot is that the actual lantern has a slit cut in it too. So you can kind of look and see how much candle you have left in it. Now. They sell these on Amazon and I have a link down below and you can check them out there. They're really affordable and they come with this whole setup plus the neoprene sock. The difference that they have now is that they actually have a chain for hanging. I just have a little bailing wire that I use to actually hang this up in my tent. I always hang it about an inch or two from the top of the tent. I wouldn't go right close like that, but this is plenty enough. And the real special thing about having a lantern in your tent is that it burns off that frost from your breath when you're in cold weather and you just keep breathing and normally that gets all frozen to your fly or the top of your tent. This really helps reduce that. It burns it off, melts it off, and, uh, and in the morning you don't have all that frost hanging on the bottom of your, on, on the ceiling of your tent. But also it's a flame in your tent. It's not going to keep it warm, but when you look up and you see that flame flickering at night when you're going to sleep, it's pretty sweet. It just kind of warms your soul. That's kind of why I like it. Truly luxury item, but it's something that I love to take when I'm on a winter trip. And the people that actually like bunk with me too, they're like, that's sweet. And they end up getting one too. So it's worth the extra weight. I usually don't go great distances in winter anyway. So I don't mind tossing this in my pack and using it when I'm uh, winter backpacking. Well, if you like this video or found something interesting about it, please hit like and subscribe. Until next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy.